presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to breach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 342, NASDAQ's up 231, SP's up 62, gold contract trading up $11.50 at 1780 an ounce. You get silver up 38 cents. All right, $20, 25 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up $242, $98.84 a, bar a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up four ticks, trading $120.103. The 30-year up 21 at $148.17 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 460 ticks, $105.891. The euro is at 102, the yen is at 133, and the British pound's at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, you get higher price. Uh, you get you do have a contraction of volume. Right now we, we got this ABC structure up inside the uh, spy. That price projection is 415. We've reached 412.38 thus far. Now that being said, now watch this. This is gonna be a cool close, folks, okay? Because what you have here is that we've been going higher all day, but I suspect what's going to happen is that we're going to give a bit up at the close. The reason being is that what you've seen here is that the, you know, first when we first hit the the high of today, well, the first high was uh, four one two three on the S and P. You came back down. You came back down into strength. You know, the strength there was big time between uh, the four zero nine. Yeah, 4090. Then what ended up happening, as you, as you took this level out, the bottom line is that there's been no volume this whole time. Now, what we just did, we just spiked with volume. The differential is that you went to 4137, 4, and we'll see if this, you know, bottom line wants to go south now. I mean, it, it would have to get under. The spy would actually have to, well, the spy can go back to 4111 and still be, Still want a higher price. I'm just talking about for this close out here. We go to the NQs. The NQs are set up the same way. The NQs right now, we're up uh, 220. The high was uh, 976. We're right next to that high. You're at 957. Same type of setup, though. Um, we pull this back a little, and what you're going to see, uh, you just drifted higher, 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 and, you know, this looks to me like it can take off... Uh, 875, what is that? Yeah, that's almost 90 points. It could take off 90 points pretty quickly. So we'll see how that shakes out. That Bottom line, all these indices continue to want higher price. And I expect they're going to get higher price because I'll show you. Let's get the dollar because this dollar, this is a break. We we're looking for this break. We we're talking about the benchmark first. The benchmark on this dollar is the sign of strength that it had. Well, it's had a lot of sign of strength. But the one we are looking at is 106.792. 
Now, what we've done, you've broken this uptrend with conviction. So the uptrend I'm talking about is the last leg up that started at 101,297. Now, you are at 105,910. That is going to give the market some monster breathing room. That, on top of the aspect that we have a 10-year, I talked about this yesterday, 10 years on an ABC structure on the way up. So watch this. This is how bizarre this is. Let's go to the 10-year now. I'm going to go to the 10-year yield. When you see this, this is phenomenal. I was, I was on TD Ameritrade this morning. I was talking about this because everyone's just talking about rates going up. Well, the reality is that your bank-to-make bank rate, the Fed funds rate, yes, has gone up. That being said, the 10-year rates have gone down and gone down dramatically, okay? We peaked out on... The 14th of June. 14th of June, if we go look at this, you had 3.49 was the rate, was the 10-year rate. Well, we're at 2.65 right now. We're not only at 2.65, but you, if you take a look at this, want to see something wild, man? I, just, I saw this this morning. That if you take a look at this, this is a nice head and shoulders top, man. And you're breaking it. And the bottom line is if we just go down to where this, the ABC structure gets you, you're going to be at a 2.65. 0, 0.1 to 2.14. And needless to say, that is going to blow some minds. Uh, what it's also going to do is it's going to basically relieve, um, you know, a lot of industries, including the housing industry, because uh, that gets that back down to 2, let's say a 2.1. The normal correlation is you put about a 2.5 on top of the 10-year to get you a 30-year um, rate. So if that's what you get, the bottom line is that you'd be back to approximately a 4.6, 4.7 versus in the sixes right now. And, you know, the, the rate structure, it's amazing that it's actually gone down faster than it's gone up. That's, you know, that's, that's what's happened. If I I'll bring the 10-year up right now and you can see the ABC structure on the way up. And it's pretty amazing, man. I mean, the bottom line, it blew away the B point yesterday, blew it away with volume. You needed 1.6 million contracts, and we got 1.8 million. Last high, the la last high, 1.61, and you got 1.8. And that's saying, guess what? We're at 121. That's saying it's going to 124, 125, and uh, <laughs> it... It is just unbelievable, actually. But bottom line is that, you know, it's going to give everything breathing room to go to higher price. So this is going to be like the quickest recession we saw in and out, evidently, or it's just not going to be a really strong recession. That's how this is shaking out. So uh, some of the uh, higher volume equities we saw out here, and it's a light volume day out here, Friday in the summer, you can expect that. You get uh, Intel, that's getting, that's down three and a half dollars. You get Advanced Micro up two bucks. Roku's getting smoked. That's down 20 bucks. You got uh, Nvidia up 130, dollar 30. That is, the uh, Tesla's up uh, 39 bucks. That's at 881 right now. Exxon Mobil uh, up four and a half dollars. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 334. Nasdaq is up 228. S&Ps are up 61. Stay right there. Come right back, folks. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Best Friend Behuli. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. And we are going to go into the bonds, folks, because Best Fid and Jacob, we we're all upstairs and, you know, we're talking the bond market. And, you know, let's just go over this because it's very, it's, it's really, it's tough to understand, number one, like the inverse correlation of bonds. Now, it's even tougher now because the aspect of all you hear is that the the fed is going up on interest rates yeah so interest rates are going up yeah but in fact what has happened is now i have the 10 year up right now in fact what you can see is that see the the when the rates go higher this price goes lower so you can see that we went from 128 dollars and 15 cents 128.15 six months ago down to a price of 114.07. Now, at 114.07, that was the high thus far of the interest rate structure. Yeah. So, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna reverse it now. I'm gonna put the 10-year yield up, all right? So, you're gonna see, what's amazing about this, folks, okay? You'll see, okay, the bottom line is that you can see there's the high. The high there was 3.49, just about 3.5%. And at 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, the you're trading, you know, that's 6% 30 year yeah. mortgages, right? Yeah. Now look at this though. So see, we broke, we're, we're, we're down here now, we're at 2.65. Well, it looks to me like we're going down here at 2.14. And that's because investors are confident? That's because investors are buying the 10 year hand over fist, exactly. And when we say investors, what ends up happening, you know, the, the bond market is at least 10 times bigger than the stock market, folks. And what happens is that the, it's more liquid. It's, it's all of the above. Um, and the bottom line is that the bond market is saying the reason that they're jamming rates down is that they're saying that the Fed next year is not going to be raising rates like they were this year, which totally makes sense, too, by the way, okay? Because right now, the Fed fund rate is at 2.50. Okay. So... Where has it been historically? Zero. Well, not historically. This is, uh, you know, it's actually been there a million times at 2.50. But we went down. You see, the upper band is 2.5. This was zero to a quarter 
only six months ago. Zero. So, Horrible. but this rate here, this is important, folks. This rate here is only bank to bank. You and I couldn't go out. If we're two banks overnight, you know, it was zero, you know, just, just swap money back and forth. Now it's 2.2 .2 to 2.5 overnight money. Yeah. What is unusual for sure is that normally if the Fed puts the Fed fund rate up, well, the bottom line, all interest rates go up. Well, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> it happened at the beginning, but, you know, that's about it. So so, so I'm assuming they're, they're thinking that the interest rates are going to go lower, so they want to catch it when it's lower, higher. That's so correct. It even lower. That's correct. Exactly. So they're buying for yield. I see. They're buying for the yield. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out why they would sell it, but yeah, it's, I guess everybody's just trading. In this in this context, what we're talking about also, folks, is that you're talking about large funds that are buying and selling bonds, or trust funds, or states, or entities, or countries. Um, because if you and I bought a bond, the way that you should do it, you could go to Treasury Direct, you just buy the bond, you keep the bond, and that's it. If the bond was paying, you know, if you buy a 10-year, and it was, you know, paying, well, right now, if they put a 10-year out, they'd be paying about 2.7. It's running 2.6. Keep it for 10 years, you're going to get 2.7, you know, every quarter. And can you comp compound that into the bond or no? How does no, that work? no. You actually get the payments? Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's a great question, man. No. That would be nice, huh? you, you get the payment. Yeah, you get the payment. You don't get the compound on it. You don't get the compound on it. Yeah. So yeah. what's been happening this week with you? Not much. Uh, just closed on a property today. Oh, hey, well, hold it. Hold it. You're up 5% on Apple. Yeah. We, well, we didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, look at that. So he, he, oh, you're up more than that now because last Friday, let's see, right? That's when you bought it. You bought it somewhere around, what'd you buy it, 152, 155? Something? It was like 153 or 154. Okay, there you go. You're at 162, man. Wow, look at that. And you get, this is an ABC up. You get volume behind it. See the B point, see where, this? Where do you think it's gonna go to? Well, yeah, this is, let's see. You see, 156, 42 is 14. That's 164. The price projection here is 164, so it's up here. So that's the first, an ABC up is a, just a technical term from timing the trade. I you see. take out a B point, just do it with volume. So tell us about the place this week. So just close on this property. Uh, this is one of those properties that, that needs a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, and most people don't realize that you can uh, sell by these properties with a mortgage. Okay. As long as you can, uh, you know, fix the property up to pass a four point, you know, within a couple months. Is that how it works? Yeah, because you got to get uh, insurance that will, is going to be much higher Okay. in order to get the mortgage, right? So once I you see. secure that insurance, they're going to tell you you have this much time to fix these problems. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to drop you. And and will you get more different insurance when you finish it? Yeah, once you fix it, you do a four-point inspection. You okay. You go back and say, hey, listen, everything is good now. Okay, so, okay. So what's happened in Florida, folks, is this. If you're in Florida, flat out, do not get, well, you can do whatever you want to do, but we've been quoting enough. I just got two different quotes for two different houses, right? Citizens insurance is the best quote by a monster way. I yeah. just got one put yesterday, $1,817 versus $3,017 versus, this is a renewal, the renewal they wanted $4,200 for, yeah. okay? 4200 yeah, it's been crazy. And so, so what has what happened is that the citizens, what, what, they had put citizens together, folks, okay, a long time ago. And then um, Scott was getting everyone off citizens because he didn't feel that the state would want to take all these risks, even though they had all the premiums that come in. Then something else happened a couple of years ago, and citizens is the deal, man. If you're in Florida, and this is what ends up happening. You specifically have to tell your agent that you want citizens because they won't give it to you because they make a lot more money selling yeah, everything else. Getting the bigger one, yeah. They, there's no doubt. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, when they send it back to me, so check this out. When they send it back to me. I, we use Mash McClellan, which is the biggest insurance company in the world, okay? Um, but the bottom line, so she sends it back to me. And we do, I do a lot of business, but she sends it back. She says, because we're so big, we're going to give you two options. And it was like the first option was 3,000 and something, the first, next one was 18, 15. And the only difference in the whole deal had been 
there was a difference. It, they laid it out, okay, but it was like it wasn't worth two thousand dollars for what you know they were going to insure something else more than yeah. the deductible. The deductible was the same, you know, yeah. but there was something inside. But the, the bottom line is that two grand. Who's kidding? Who man? I mean, yeah, uh, well, I, I read something where it was created by the government of Florida, but right. uh, they didn't really want people to use it. It's just kind of like a backup plan, right? So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's that's what they always they don't dare yeah, because too they yeah they want us to throw our money away right <laughs> yeah <laughs> stay right there folks uh, Best and I coming back right back we have the Dow Dow Industrials right now trading up by three forty six you get the Nasdaq up two forty S and P's are up sixty four we'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Best Fed Healy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us. So, Best Fed, uh, last week had uh, <laughs> Apple. Uh, this week, we're going to go into what? This yeah. the goal. This the goal. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, man. Every week we're going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you gotta love it. Okay, so Vista right now. I had Fred, and by the way, folks, I had Fred Ernest on yesterday. You can check that out. It was at three eighteen. Vista's trading at sixty four cents, man. So okay. give it hell. You can buy it at sixty five cents. Just put an order in. All right, let's do it. Okay. How do we do this? Oh yeah. Let you do it. Okay, so yeah. Well, we, we'll keep doing the. It'll, let me see. Let's trade. Order status. Um, I see. I bring. I. Uh, we'll bring this up during the break because what happens is, that, so you're on the main one instead of the platform. You can do both, oh, but okay. I, I got to have you download the platform. Oh, okay. The plat. But no, you can you can trade off this one. You okay. can trade off this one. It's just it's the the, the platform. You just hit a couple of buttons and you're off to the races, yeah, though. See, I'm not used to these things. That's why. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what we're thinking of doing, folks? Okay, this this was this was it wasn't Besford and um, Jacob were talking to each other, trying to figure out the ten year well, just a bond market in general, because it's an inverse correlation. And that I think that'd be a great show, man. <laughs> Be, be, no, because you know why? What happens, the, the mental calisthenics that we all do, and everyone does it in the, inside the bond market um, until you finally get it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was just like, why? It, why is it always it, at the same rate? And why is it inverse? And, you know, yeah. And, and the, listen, man, the, the bonds are running everything. And, you know, this, this is a, you know, big deal. The dollar today is a big deal, folks, okay? Um, if this dollar, and it looks to me like we have a, a full break of the trend, and that's what you needed in order for this market to continue higher. And you can see here, that's a full break. And, you know. So what's the dollar with the euro right now? The dollar right now is, well, the dollar index is 105. The euro, I believe, is 102. You better get those euros, man. You know, it's maybe I should short we, uh, Bank of Tampa, huh? I know. Yeah, you're, you're, so you're at 102. It's still a good deal. 102.21. Because if the dollar goes where I think it's going to go, uh, bottom line, the euro will be at uh, 107. Oh, okay. You know, so not that it's a. Now. It's not. It's not a lot, but that's five percent. Yeah. That gets you a few more uh, days more, in uh, Europe. Few more coffees and beers. That's right. Beers. That's right. <laughs> well, you're on the wagon right now, anyway, yeah, right? Gotta go there soon. So yeah. So what else do we have happening out here this week? We had, um, you know, it what's going to be interesting in St. Pete, folks, is this: this is this monster. Um, it's going to be the largest building in the West Coast, right? Right down this. Well, we're in the third block. What is that? The fifth block? Uh, talking about the yeah the guy from New York. Yeah. Yeah, that's on fourth. Fourth. So we're on third. Yeah, so it's only a block away. Yeah. So there's a block away, and the someone had told me uh, six or seven weeks ago now, right? Yeah, a couple months. That ago. this was stopping, and it looked like they would keep going, but right now it looks like it's totally stopped, and I suspect it actually is. And and so check this out. This is this is kind of intriguing, just in the market itself, right? Yeah that any, everyone in the real estate market is scared to even say that it stopped. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you have the brokers. I got this actually off a big broker. And um, the bottom line is that it looked like, no, nah, it's gonna keep going, but I think it stopped. And what you have is that you don't have the papers say anything about it, you don't have the, we have like three or four other digital operations uh, inside, uh, it's in St. Pete that are really good for real estate, right? Yeah. But they haven't said a word either. They haven't said anything. Yeah. And we haven't seen any properties come up for sale either. Right. You know, since the beginning, there, there was a few, but that, that, that's about it. Oh, yes, for the pre-sales. Yeah. So, right. you know, you would you would think they're just going to throw right. them out there, but right. nothing's really happening. And he's probably just being, you know, conservative. I, and I can see it because what, what has happened is this. They got the... Uh, utilities put in under. So what happens when you've seen these monster buildings, you're always still gonna put your utilities in first, folks, right? But then they bring the pile drivers in right away. Yeah. And they haven't brought the pile drivers in and it looks so smooth, right? Everything you know? Everything's there, yeah. It's, so, it's closed off, so we'll see what happens. But you know, this other guy, there, there looks like they're gonna move. That's right. And then this was, there was the, when I had got that information, there was two of them that was supposed to happen. And the other guy, the other place is moving though, for yeah. sure. The pile drivers are there. That's yeah. in. That's in place. Well, those guys, they know what they're doing, huh? That's Colta, you mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this this firm Colta, uh, they're no, are they out of Miami? Uh, Somewhere down there, yeah. Yeah. So, so they're they're South they're from South Florida, but they have been killing it in St. Pete. They have been, and when I say killing it, what they build, they build, you know, 35, 40 story. Is, is that, yeah. Are they that high? Yeah. Like 40 yeah. Um, you know, buildings, and they've done very well. And the thing that, so listen to this, man. This is this is pretty wild when you actually think about it. Once you can start scaling up and understanding how those buildings get built, they really have it made because what happens, folks, is that they sell, they sell the condos and they just cement blocks in the inside. Yeah. You have to do them over. The, the, yeah, there's somewhere you gotta go in there and do it yourself. I mean, it's amazing. 
I mean, one of our friends, one of our friends a couple of years ago, there's a number one building, he's got a beautiful, and it blew my mind that they were paying for that and there was no finishes, man. <laughs> was no kitchen, no bathrooms, right? No, exactly. Yeah, and it was all walls. cement. It was just, yeah, you know. And the bottom line is that that's, that's kind of, that's really intriguing, oh, actually. That's pretty cool, because you get done a lot faster, right? You, you get done a lot faster. The expense that you save is tremendous. So you think when someone's buying something for 1.5 or 2.5, whatever that is, um, you know, and, and actually when you see these prices, you know, a lot of these prices on these uh, new builds, this is new new builds, folks, okay? A lot of them just aren't built out. Now, you can hire them to build it out. That, yeah. That's how that works. But it's astronomical, man. The, yeah. the, the prices they get for a build out is insane. It's pretty crazy, yeah. So it's, it's pretty cool to see, though, as, as this place is getting built out. Oh, it's, it's, it's big. It's, you know, it's, we look at it, it looks kind of small when you're in it, but when you go outside of it, you're like, man, this is a pretty big city. It is. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah, we, so have, we have a waterfront that's extraordinary. There's, yeah. there's no doubt about that. And what happened here, by the way, so this is pretty cool. What happened, folks, is that, you know, the, all the railroad barons basically built Florida in general. Yeah. Uh, on this side, uh, it was Plant, right? And Morton. Yeah. Morton Plant. Yeah, it's Plant. And... What they did, it, which is so cool, they were they're just so smart when you think about it. The amount of parks that we have and the amount of open parks next to water oh, yeah, that, the, that were so donated good. and the city owns uh, is phenomenal, man. And it makes the city. Yeah, I mean, because goes, everyone, everyone, everyone can go to them. Yeah, where does it start? Like 28th North, I think. And yeah. It goes all the way down to like. 18th or 18th uh, South. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, it's uh, it's huge. It's huge, folks. It's it, like and the whole downtown St. Peter. It, it is. All it parks. is. So it is. It's, it's, it's nice to have. Pretty there. cool. And every little neighborhood has their, their own park. Parks. So Big time. It's nice. Stay right there, folks. Bess and I are coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 364. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 255. S&Ps are up 68. We'll come right back. Oh. We got to come right back. <laughs> we got a few more seconds. Right? Yeah, you got to love it. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstat has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. There you go. That commercial just got best for the <laughs> You had the, uh, let's see, the Dow, Dow and Nash is up 340, Nasdaq's up 242, S&P's up 64. Okay, we get this set up. Bestford's going to be buying 50 shares of Vista Gold. Hit that, Gold, baby. So we got nice uh, order, huh? Yeah, that's right. There we go. There we go. What does it say at the top? Does it say, uh, yeah, let the, me order to buy it. Ah, there it is. You're done, right? It's already done, huh? That's a beautiful thing. Okay, man. There we go. This is going to be baptism fi by fire for yeah. Bestford. <laughs> going to buy a sock every week. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> you got to love it. You got to love it, man. Totally. That's how we're going to beat the market. Yeah. <laughs> Once a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you. New trade and philosophy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Let me just pull this down here for a second. Get this over here. There we go. So, so you think the market is going back up, huh? I well, I do. And so, listen to this, folks. Okay, the, the bottom line is that oh, it should have been here first, but you know that I've been bullish for a bit. So, I was on TD Ameritrade this morning, right? And the way it works with TD Ameritrade, and I got to start doing this here too, because on TD Ameritrade, what happens? I have to, I have to do three stocks to trade three stocks, like right here, right now. Okay. okay. So I'm on there once a week. We're on for like a half hour, forty, but about twenty-five minutes actually. So. What ended up happening is that the uh, Nicole, uh, she wanted to know, bottom line, do I think that, you know, is that the end of the bear? Because they knew I was a bear. I mean, because what ended up happening is that I had been saying this is going down for quite a while because I'm on every week, okay? So at the beginning of this, it was like, what? what? Where are we going? I was, yeah, my tickets were going down. So the bottom line is that she asked both me and Ben Lipnestein, okay, well, where are you at? And the bottom line, folks, I think the lows are in. That's what I said to her. And I was even shocked myself. <laughs> I was. Because I said, hey, man, you know, I, and because it's so diabolical, man. I mean, it actually is diabolical. It, what I mean by that is that this is the weakest part of, of the year, of the, you know, generally, right? So it totally makes sense that you'd think that, hey, it's just going to keep going lower. And, but guess what? My, my take is that when I, when I look at the interest rate structure, when I look at the dollar, and I look at this, how many times that we actually hit the lows and there were no more sellers, and on top of that, how much some of these equities have got hit. Yeah. Some of these equities have got hit, like, beyond belief. Well, yeah, I mean, just look. You know, if we pull up, uh, watch. Watch when you pull up Zillow, okay? I mean, the, the, the hits that these uh, stocks, to, yeah, this is just six months. So six months ago... The stock's at 65, and it went to 28. That's 50%. Yeah. <laughs> and let me see if, I don't even think that was the high. Let me just see this for a second. Well, I think Zillow. No, look, look, this is now. even, yeah, this is sick. So so we, we went from 200 and, oh my God, yeah. So this was. was the high? Yeah, this, so this was a 90% hit. It went from 208 down to 28. Can you imagine if you bought it at 200 and held it till now? Yeah. Unfortunately, people have done that. Well, I think what's going to happen with Zillow, too, is uh, now that it's become more of a buyer's market, right. realtors are going to spend a lot of money on Zillow. 
to get more leads. Right. In turn, they're going to get more uh, revenue, right? So, right. So. And what has happened is that they have taken over the rental market. Yeah. So let, let's talk about that because this is really cool, folks. Okay. So check this out. So the rental market, right? Right. So I put three in the last two months, right? Yeah. 90, I would say 98% were all through Zillow. Right. The leads that came in. Right. I, 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 I Instead of Realtor.com? Yeah, Realtor.com, uh, the MLS. Yeah, exactly. I got, I got almost no leads when right. it came to the, right. to the rentals, but everything came through Zillow. So if you want to rent anything, you got to go on Zillow. And this is one of the other reasons why uh, one of my properties got delayed. Yeah. And so what happens is, when you, they're buying this as investment. Yes. So the rent has to cover the, the mortgage payment every month. Okay. And so what's, what's going on is when the appraisers uh, look at a property, they're looking at only on, on the MLS, right? Yeah. But most rentals aren't on the MLS. They're on Realtor. Interesting. Or, or, or on Zillow. Okay. So when they looked at it, it was low and it didn't qualify. Yeah. But really it should qualify if they looked at Zillow. Now in Zillow, how much is Zillow charging? Because what happened here, folks, is this. Zillow, if you, when we put stuff on the MLS, immediately Zillow would pick it up, okay? Yeah. And I was even saying the best for then, it's crazy because Zillow was still running things then. Yeah. And then Zillow fi figured it out that, hey man, I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna pick up the MLS anymore. So they don't pick it up. If you put on the MLS, Zillow doesn't pick it up. We pay Zillow, right? Yeah, but this is the, that's just for the rentals so. though. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, last time it was like ten dollars a week. Okay. And I think they just switched it to thirty dollars per per three months or something. But they have two options. They have one where you can do it for free, or they have the other one where you pay. But when, the one you do for free, you get almost no action. And so, so pitch this. It's important to understand exactly what Bestford just said because he tried it. Because yeah. I remember when you, you looked at me, he turned around and looked at me a couple weeks ago. I says, hey, man, <laughs> if it's for free, you yeah. didn't get anything. And then yeah. then it turned to change. Yeah, and I think it was thirty dollars. For three months, you pay, and uh, yeah. So let's just look at something. I want to see if they're broken this out. Cause see, this is going to be cool, folks. Cause this started. This started. Is it six months or a year ago that it started? They they started charging for it. Yeah, I want to say at least a year. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Zillow. Look at this. Look at how the money's coming down again. The, the last quarter, they did $4.3 billion. And the reason the money's coming down again dramatically, they plan on going from $4.3 billion to nine hundred and eighty-three million. Okay, wow. but the the difference is that now they're going to make money. Okay, thirty four cents because well, that big number, folks, had to do with flipping everything. You know, oh, you buy you're buying homes. Well, here it is. Here, see this right here. Buying homes six six billion was just buying homes. I see. Mortgages two hundred and forty five. IMT must be the advertising. I think. Where were they getting the money to buy these homes? You know. Uh, well, they, they, yeah, the public companies can get quite a bit of money. They just I mean, raise money, or they went to a bank. Oh yeah, no, no, they would, they would, they would have got financed. Yeah, they would have definitely got financed. Big, big. Remember the, the the two guys that came in with soliciting me from the insurance company. Yeah. So what happens, folks? This is cool to know too. If you have projects that you know, I know that that you know. Uh, mm, they want projects, insurance companies want projects like 20, 30 units at a time. But if you have that, you're going to be really surprised what an insurance company will give you a mortgage for. Yeah. We had a couple guys up the office and the, they were soliciting me. Um, and it's, it's a great deal, man. I mean, that's the bottom line, you yeah. know. Um, so that Good rates. and Great rates, um, you know. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how that shakes out. You just have to... They want chunks. They don't. They don't want a two million dollar deal. I think the minimum was five million, right? That's what they, yeah, I think it was five or six million. Deals, yeah, yeah, you so. know. But it's good to know. But that's what it's, that's what a Zillow would do. A Zillow would have an insurance company behind them, or something like that. Because what happens? Do you remember something? What happens with insurance companies is that the bottom line they have all these premiums. They got to put these premiums to work, and then what they do? They just balance their, you know, their balance sheet, meaning if it's a life insurance company, they know what, you know, we live X amount of years, so they're, they're saying, okay, I gotta pay this off, and that's all they're trying to do is balance that out. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. We have the Dow, Dow this market's holding, price is holding, man, no doubt. The Dow's up about 355, uh, NASDAQ's up 350, S&Ps are up 65, we'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at tfnn.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 338, Nasdaq's up 240, S&P's up 63, and Zillow's not a buy, folks, uh, by the way. Even though it's come down that dramatically, uh, we just had a couple of targets asking that. It's just not set up right. I would keep it on your, your, your watch list, though. That's what I would do. You can see that, you know, there's no strength in here. You know, there's no wide price spread. You know, so, so what happens is that, you know, when you're looking for a buy, you have to have a couple different things in place. And the, the first one is that you have no more sellers. And then the bottom line, and no more sellers means that you test the lows a few times. Then all of a sudden you go upside and you have wide price spread and you got accelerated volume. So, you know, we'll see the rest of the shakes out. But uh, next week, folks, so what happens is that next week, the begin, this is the last day of the month, trading wise. So we're going to come into window dressing. So bottom line, you know, I suspect that, you know, this ABC structure up in the um, S&Ps, it wants to go, man. You what's, know? what's window dressing? Window dressing is when at the end of the month and the beginning of the month that money managers have to show their performance at the end of every month. So what they like to do is that they like to show equities that have actually gone up. <laughs> So they rearrange their portfolios, believe it or not, I know. Oh, okay. And it, it actually, the thing that's amazing, folks, is that it's illegal, you know. But how do you get it to someone's mind? That, that's, the, that's the reality. It, 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 SEC rules it's illegal to basically, you know. Switch things around? Well, not to switch things around, but to do it in the, in, in the basis that you, you think you did, you know, you're basically window dressing. They don't want you to window dressing, but 
every fund does it, there's no doubt about it. And then what ends up happening at the beginning of the month, and this is more crucial, is that all the IRA money and the comes into the marketplace, right? So if you're a money manager, you don't get paid unless you put that to work. If you have cash that I just sent to you for my retirement account, right? Yeah. If it's in cash, you don't get paid. As soon as you put it into the marketplace, you get paid. So they put it into the marketplace. I always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Get your questions for Best of the Nine next Friday. We're going to be out here every Friday growling a problem with you. Visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Look at him, folks. Building